So I think over the next year, you'll see quite a few extensions of our brand, some of which will stick around and, and many of which won't, right? Some of which will just be a one-time enjoyable experience for us to launch something new into the world. And others will become part of our core business and maybe a, a significant part of our core business. So an easy example of that being that we launched masks a couple weeks ago and it quickly became our number one selling product for, for you know the last three weeks. So I think we'll see that evolution and iteration happening quite a bit, but you know within our playbook, not in any sort of inauthentic way. So you go and, and you know everyone goes on lockdown and you decide to launch masks as a product. How long did it take you before, as a team, you were like, okay, we need to move in this direction? And was there a problem in getting supplies with, with everyone being interrupted? Because I heard a lot about supply chains being disrupted and things being put on hold just because, not that they weren't available, but because they were hard to uh, get from point A to point B. Did you experience any of that in creation of the mass as a product? Yeah, we experienced, I think, all of that. <laughs> Yeah, we shut our stores down March 11th, and I think somewhere around March 20th or so, we, we kind of got word that this PPE shortage was happening. Our first instinct wasn't until well over a month later, you know, close to a month and a half. We didn't think at all about selling. We never thought we'd sell masks. I mean, even on March 20th, when we kicked that off, it was how many can we get to local Boston hospitals? And we ended up putting a lot of our own money forward, raising money from our customers and uh, ended up donating over, I think it ended up being 40,000 respirators and another, another 30,000 masks are on the way. It was only once we caught our breath and had delivered 40,000 masks that we even thought about selling the first one and realizing, hey, we still have a, we, you know, we just built the supply chain overnight, you know, for donations. Now that the donations are starting to kind of be, you know, we're, we're continuing to donate one, you know, one for every sell sale. Is there an opportunity for us to make this part of our core business? And, uh, and, and go from there. That's exactly what happened. You know, we decided uh, on March 11th not to furlough or fire anybody. I mean, we have 30 retail staff members at those six stores and for, for their livelihood and for our economy, we decided to keep them all fully on payroll. And so we had to make sure we kind of took care of our business. As soon as we took care of our community, our next thought had to be, how do we make sure we sustain our business? And, and that's where uh, selling masks became an option. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.